in our gut, and specifically in our colon, we have millions of bacteria that are absolutely necessary for a healthy lifestyle. These bacteria are important in breaking down undigestible food products that make it through the small intestines, hence releasing certain vitamins and fatty acids that are very important to the body. In the intestines, you have a variety of bacteria that normally coexist with each other. Good bacteria can suppress the overproduction of toxic bacteria. There's a classic antibiotic-associated bacteria that people are aware of, and one of the reasons doctors are very hesitant just to arbitrarily prescribe antibiotics is that we know that we're gonna get rid of the beneficial bacteria at the consequence of other bacteria that can overgrow the system. More recently, we've learned that you can counteract some of these antibiotic problems by giving uh, probiotics. Probiotics are a group of microorganisms that are beneficial to the host. There are prebiotics that are food substances that these more beneficial bacteria tend to rely on for healthy growth. And so by having a diet that is stimulatory to the benefit of these more friendly bacteria, you tend to have less, uh, potentially less uh, GI issues. There are a whole variety of probiotics, and we're just in the infancy of trying to understand what probiotic is beneficial in any given disease or symptomatic condition. I think for the general population who do not have any ongoing gastrointestinal symptoms, the use of a probiotic as a health uh, supplement is not indicated or necessary. If an individual is going to take antibiotics, I think getting on a probiotic is very important to reestablish kind of normal, healthy gut flora. Uh, there are uh, individuals who do have chronic gastrointestinal symptoms, and in that subpopulation, the routine use of a probiotic can be very, very beneficial and has been shown to reduce symptoms significantly.